Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again. Today we're going to have a look at how to play Billion Dollar Babies by Alice Cooper, featuring the guitars of not only longtime Alice guitarist Glenn Buxton and Michael Bruce, but also featuring one of my favorite guitar players of all time, the great Steve the Deacon Hunter, who did most of the soloing on this track and a number of others from the album as well. As Glenn Buxton was apparently out of commission with pancreatitis at the time of recording many of these tracks from over drinking, I think. Almost got me a couple of years ago as well. Uh, just a fantastic classic Alice Cooper track, this one. Always been one of my favorites from the early 70s lineup. Uh, I actually won a local air band contest with a few friends about, oh, 40 years ago, I guess, performing this very track in front of an audience of a couple of hundred people. Great fun. Uh, won $1,000, if I remember correctly. Uh, regardless, enough blathering on. Let's uh, close in and learn how to play this one, shall we? All right then, Alice Cooper and Billion Dollar Babies. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial. This one starts like this. We're gonna repeat this 16 times. We're just hammering on from the open G string to the second fret. Right, giving it a little, little vibrato as well. Now, after you repeat that eight times, another guitar joins and starts playing this in harmony, right? Going to repeat it four times in this position, four on to five of the G, and then move it up to seven, eight for four repeats, right? So that whole thing put together on one guitar eight times, move it up, move it up, right? And then we're into the short intro solo. Right, so we're going to go to the uh, ninth fret of the G. Going to go off to seven, off to five, slide that seven back into nine. Kind of like that, right? And then we're going to go slide back into that nine, hit it a couple of times, off to seven, off to five. Then you're going to slide into a double stop on the tenth fret of the D and the G and slide out of it. Kind of like that, right? And then we're going to go off to four, into nine, hit it a couple of times, back it up to seven. And then he kicks a wah on for these next couple of notes. Just going from five to seven to nine, into twelve, into fourteen, slide out of it. And that's the intro solo. And then we're into the main riff and the first verse. Right there. So A power chord. Grab the third fret of the low E, off to open, back to the A power chord. Just right along with the vocals, right? Ba -da 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 -da. Then you're gonna go three, two, open of the A. Drop into an F power chord, hit that a couple of times, a little down, up, down, right? And then you're gonna hit that, after you hit that F power chord, you're gonna kind of slide the uh, the final pick strike up, right? You're gonna grab a double stop here on the tens of the D and the G, slide it into 12, and back to 10. Kind of like that, right? Then we drop into a G power chord, into A, Hit that A a couple of times, back it up to G, and then back it up to the F. Right, so that's the uh, the uh, the riff verse, right? Or the verse riff, I should say. And then you're going to repeat that. And now we're into kind of the chorus, pre-chorus. A little bit quieter here. The guitars kind of get a little bit buried in the mix. Mm -hmm. 
into that, right? So an E power chord with that kind of rhythm, right? Bouncing off the open E string. Bum, 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 ba, da, right? Bum, 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 Off to A. Bum, 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 back to E. Bum, 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 bum. And then back to A and choke it off, right? And then we're gonna play that little lit. Right, so bum 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 So that right there, uh five on the six back to five of the B. All going on here on the five seven four of the G string. Right? So that's that little lick right there. Finishing on the four of the G. And then back into the E again. A. E. And then you drop into an F power chord and one of the guitars plays this. Just riding right down this F major triad here. Right down the, uh, the 10th fret of the D, G, and B. Drop on to the 11, into a full step bend with vibrato. And then while you're holding that, the other guitar and the bass, play this lick. And then drop right back into that again. 3-5 of the low E. And then 2-3-5 of the A, 2-3-5 of the D. Right? And then you drop back into those hammer-ons again. Same as the opening. Right, and then we're into the solo. So let's get a little bit more gain going on here. Solo. Um, so that's the opening of the solo. We're going right down the uh, the A minor pentatonic, basically here. Right there, right. So we're going to kind of double time the first four notes: twelve, fifteen, twelve, fifteen and then 12, 14, 12, 14. And uh, you're gonna kind of slow down a little bit when you get to the D and the G string, right? And then you're gonna go 13, 15 of the B, hit that a couple of times, three or four times, and then into a full step bend. And then choke it off, right? Kind of like that. So those first four notes, a little bit quicker and then you slow down, right? And then you're gonna give that a step and a half bend and then reach up there, a uh, string skip up to the 15 of the, uh, the D string to finish that little phrase. And then we're into this. To finish the solo, so. Thirteen of the uh, the high E string, on to fifteen, back to thirteen, back to twelve, and then fifteen, thirteen, twelve of the B, right, and into this. So twelve, thirteen of the B, back to the twelve, then roll up to the twelve of the G, on to the fifteen for a full step bend. Release it back to the natural note on 15 and then off to 13. And then finish the first solo with this. Just a bend of that 15, release it back to the natural note. 13 off to 12. 14 back to 12 of the G, hammer back onto the 14. Right, so that's the first solo, and then the second solo, when you land on that note on the 14 of the G, has already started. Right, with that right there. But let's recap that solo. So when you land 
land on that note, another guitar has taken over that note with a full step bend here on the 7 of the G. With that lick right there. So, 7th fret of the G, full step bend. Then you're going to string skip down to the 5 of the high E. And then 5, 7 of the B. Right back into another bend on that 7. And then you're going to roll down those 5s. Grab the 8 of the B back to the 5 of the high E, back to the 8 of the B, and slide it into 10. Kind of like that, right? And then we're into this. Right, so uh, anyway, where are we? That little lick right there. Starting on the 10 of the B, down to the, uh, the 8, 9, sorry, 7, 8 of the high E. Pull that back off to 7 and then back up to the 10 of the B. And then a little back and forth there between that uh, 7 of the high E and the 10 of the B. And then back to the uh, 7, 8 of the high E. It's probably best when you go back to that 7, 8, the final 7, 8, you do it by sliding your index up. Right there, right? Because we're going to drop right back into that, onto that 10 for a full step bend. Actually, that's a step and a half bend. Into that lick. Just right all in the pentatonic, right? From that step and a half bend. Right, and finishing with that little kind of bendy blues lick, bending the seven and then riding down the fives, right? From the bend. Slide. Right, so that's that lick. So from the beginning of the second solo. And then we finish the solo with this. So we're just going to slide into 10, back to the, uh, the 8 of the high E, a little back and forth. Twice, right? And then finish the solo with this. Sliding into 14 of the G, down to the 13 of the B. Little bend release of that 15 off to uh, 13. And then finish the solo with a full step bend on the 15 of the high, high E string. Right, so that is the second solo. So from the top of the solo, both solos. Right, and then we're right back into the chorus again. Or a verse, actually. And then you repeat. G, A. And then we're back into the quiet kind of, uh, I don't know, it's not really the chorus, is it? And then that lick again, right? There's harmony to that. I didn't show you it the first time, but that's the harmony. Starting on 5-7 of the G, a little back and forth, right? And then off to the 4 of the G. 
finishing 7-6 of the D. And that's the harmony that's playing underneath this. Right, and then we're back into this. F. And then this little lick. Right here in the F minor pentatonic. All going on on the 1316 of the B in the high E. Finishing with a full step bend on that 16, right? And uh, as you're letting that note ring, I think we drop back into this. Right? Wait, I'm not sure. No, we drop into this. We kind of a little sliding down the neck, right? And then we drop into the main riff again. We kind of play the first half of the riff. And then we drop back into this. Right? Three, five. Two, three, or uh, two, three, five, two, three, five, right? And then back into the riff. And then we do that slide down the neck again. And then back to this again. And that kind of continues until fade out. And uh, there's a kind of a outro solo going on underneath all of this, which we're not really going to get into. And uh, and that's it. That is how you play Billion Dollar Babies by Alice Cooper. Certainly hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial, found it helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And we will see you next time. Cheers.